this good world. It's your boy The Session. I'm back, as you see. More drippy than ever. Chef bag, extra drippy. You see the shirt, we out here with vegan veins. Make sure you check them out. Instagram will magically appear across the screen right now. And you are here with me for today's episode of Easy Vegan Snacks. We're making comfort food. It's getting a little chilly outside. Not in California, but probably where you live, it's getting chilly. We're making pot pies. But you can't join us if you didn't check out last week's episode. We did a lot of cool <laughs> If you didn't check it out, check it out, then come back with us. I got a beautiful guest. You already know how I'm coming. Um, stay tuned, get ready to get very healthy. Let's go. Hey, cause she be looking like a snack. Like a, yeah. But she look better in person. And she won't ever text me back. Yeah, yeah. She say I'm too busy working. Hey. All right, as promised, I have a beautiful guest here. Hello. And you want to introduce yourself, my love? Yeah, my name is Jackie Hollywood. Um, I'm a radio personality here in the Bay Area, and I'm I'm a vegetarian, so I'm super excited to be eating some vegan food today. You're getting close. Getting yes, close. I'm getting close. Still eating cheese, but <laughs> maybe not one day. Not maybe before. not after this meal. Hey. Maybe you'll change my mind. See? So what we're going to be making today is vegan pot pies. Vegan pot pies. Ooh, it sounds good. Do you like pot pies originally, like regular? I'll eat it. It's a pie. It's got the word pie. I'll eat it. All right, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. So we want to spice our pies up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Add a little sorizo in there. I'm a little bougie, y'all know how I get down. I love sorizo. Oh, so you already know about this. Oh yeah, I go to Trader Joe's all the time. See, what I fellas, I told you. Trader Joe's got the plug. You dig? That's where people like me shop, so. You if you're dig? trying to look for a date, that's where you can find one. Hey, I told you <laughs> fellas, my channel, girls too, I don't want to exclude anybody, is to get second dates. You like sorizo, right? If I saw you at the store pulling that from the fridge, I'd probably talk to you. Told you. <laughs> Told you. All right. So we're off to a great start. We're going to add some other veggies. we got some peas. Um, for those of you people who are out there, um, just go into your parents' freezer, go all the way in the back of that <laughs> and then pull out stuff. And these are probably in there. Like from when you have a headache or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Like... You might have got punched into that random oh. bar fight for no reason. Yeah. Those are those things. This is literally what that is. <laughs> See, she's like got I have a bruise right here. <laughs> she's been fighting. And we got some white corn. Beautiful, just simple stuff, super inexpensive. You can find any market, um, any supermarket everywhere. You know how I get down with Trader Joe's and Sprouts and things like that, but you can get this stuff for under $2. Um, these are just pre-made pie shells. Your crust, um, they're gonna save us a lot of time. That's probably gonna be my favorite part of the pie. I love like the carbs. The crispy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we're gonna break this down and we're gonna start prepping. I'm gonna let you pre-bake these oh God. <laughs> pie crust. Believe in yourself. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Step number one, pre-bake the pie crust. Let's do it. So first up is we're going to prep the pies for pre-baking. So you take a fork as so and just make some holes in the bottom like that. I think. <laughs> Beautiful. You're doing a great job. The how, reason many, how many holes is are too many though? I, that's okay. So <laughs> make some on the side here too. The reason we do these holes is to release the steam from the crust. You don't want to par-bake it and it starts rising up and becomes all lopsided and like that. Theoretically, in the real chef people world, you're supposed to put dried beans or dried rice in here and then put it in the oven. I have neither of those things, so, <laughs> so we're improvising. Back to you. So after you're done making the holes, you put them in the oven on 375 for about eight minutes. So first of all, if you're a chef like me, you're not supposed to be carrying your knives just loose around the world, you know what I'm saying? Get you something nice, drippy. It doesn't have to be Tommy Hilfiger. You know what I'm saying? I just preferred it. I think it's very nice. So we won't have that link in the description as well. But it carries my baby. Sexy. Custom one of one. You know what I'm saying? It's very sexy. I prefer this more than some women. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's Gorgeous. sharp. It's edgy. I took it out of... I don't know what he gave it to me in the paper and I cut my thumb, so that's proof. Right now, we're gonna use this and we're gonna cut our potatoes that we have parboiled. I boiled these for probably about six minutes, six to eight minutes, just to get them tender, so that way when we put them into the oven, they're already half cooked, won't take as long. Chef tip. Pro tips. Let's do it. All right, so now we're gonna cook this soy rizo that we got at Trader Joe's, so delicious. And for all you health conscious people out there, there's 11 grams of protein, so if you were used to eating meat before, you're not really gonna miss out on much protein. Um, we're gonna use some avocado oil on the pan, which is on medium heat right now, and we're gonna get it going. Mm. 
Vegan ladies, vegan ladies, I know you're gonna get upset. This is my favorite portion where we season our food. I'm the salt, she's the pepper. Hey. And then we got some bougie stuff called Herbe de Provence. And we're mm -hmm. gonna put that- Say that again? Excuse me, Herbe de Provence. Okay. You know I'm saying? A little bougie, <laughs> dude. A little international. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. okay. Just marjoram, thyme, rosemary, all the dried versions of them. We're gonna get that se seasoned right now. Pepper first. And you know how I'm coming. Pinch of the salt. You don't gotta use it all. Throw the rest away for you, vegan lady. And then, come in here with a little bit of the bougie seasoning. And this is how you can tell it's bougie. It comes with a wooden spoon already in it. Boom, two of those, and we're off. So, same pan, medium to medium high heat. I'm actually gonna increase the heat medium high, add a little bit of more of our oil. If you're a vegan lady and you don't want your food to have any of this, water or whatever, just let's, let's get to cooking. Boom. Then we have our corn or any vegetable that you have in the freezer. Like I said, go into your freezer, dig all the way back. So now I'm going to add our red onion and a little bit of bell pepper that I found that I had cut up. Onion in bell pepper in, saute these three more minutes and we're going to season. Oh, hello, didn't see you there. What am I doing, you ask? I'm just washing my shit as I go. So that way when I'm not, when I'm done, I don't have to come back to a bunch of dirty dishes. All right, now we're gonna add some turmeric, one of my favorite spices. This is actually really good for digestion if you have any tummy issues. Um, and if it's mixed with pepper, it's actually good for brain health so you can get smart. It smells really good too. You know why I'm here? For the salt and for the pepper. Pepper done. Come in here with the salt, you know what I'm saying? You, I put the salt in my hand first because this allows you to see how much you're putting in. And if you don't like how much you're putting in, discard it the rest. Couple more teaspoons of our bougie stuff. Voila, voila. And in 30 seconds, this will be complete. Mm, it smells so good. How does it smell? Like heaven. Camera, if this smells good, tilt, yes, up and down. <laughs> Don't say. Now what we're going to do is make the gravy. The correct terminology is called a balute sauce, which is usually chicken stock and a roux. Roux is made from butter and flour or any fat and flour mixed together. Gets thick, add some liquid to it, turns into gravy. We're vegan, so this is called Earth Balance Butter. It's very bougie, very delicious, tastes the same as regular butter. A couple spoonfuls directly in. Um, Honestly, I'm gonna go with three tablespoons. This is what I'm gonna go with here. That's just the life I live. Get that in there. I have my pot here on medium heat. You're gonna need one of these. When you're making gravy, you need a whisk. All lumps will be eliminated. We have flour. Equal parts butter to flour is a roux. Add your flour directly in. Add a little more flour. This is the roux is the important part when making sauces because once you have your roux and it's as thick as you like it, that's gonna help you determine how thick your sauce is. The roux up, you the sauce up. Is what I'm saying. With this medium, medium low heat, maybe three minutes. I'm just saying three minutes a lot today. I don't know why. But yeah, about three minutes, honestly. You want it to just have kind of like a popcorn -y smell. You don't want this to turn color, so if your roux comes out and it's my color, it up because the gravy we're making is not super dark brown. So keep it on low heat, keep stirring it, keep whisking it. So here's another fun fact. In the chef world, when we make sauces, we typically have our stock or our base in another pot already heated up. I am high, I didn't do that. So I have the stock and it's room temperature. So we're gonna add it directly to our room here. And we're gonna pray for no lumps. 
Okay, so it's been about that three minutes. The roux is beautiful. We're gonna add our stock to it. I increased the heat to a medium. I honestly don't know how much I added. That was probably about a cup and a half. And we're gonna see how thick that gets. Come on over camera, I want you to see this. So right off the bat, as you see, it's thick. So you can always thin this out by adding a little more stock if you need to. And it just gets thicker the longer you cook it. That's another thing to remember. So as you see, that's already thickened that fast. Now it's about 10 seconds. I'm gonna add about another half a cup of stock to this. Alright, so it's time to hit them with the seasoning while that's cooking. Drop that to low heat. Come in with a little bit of our herb de Provence. Boom. And give it two of those. Come in with some salt. However much you like of that. I'm going to go with two teaspoons because I live life on the edge. Turmeric. It's going to make it that nice yellow color. As the coho said, it's good for the stomach. Add some of that in there. And that's what's this up. And we're going to give it a taste. Always remember to taste as you go. If you do not taste your food as you go, you will have no clue how the food's going to taste at the end. I'm going to taste every step. It's good. I wouldn't know that if I didn't taste it. So we're going to let this cook for another 60 seconds and take it off the heat and get ready to get these in the oven. Okay, so now we have all of our beautiful ingredients here. How does it smell? Delicious, can't wait to eat it. Perfect, so now that we've done all the stuff called mise en place, everything in its place, the prep is done, we're going to get everything in this bowl mixed up into our pot pie shells, into the oven. We'll be eating in about under 20 minutes. to our liking, it's time to add some sauce to these mother suckers. Lucky they don't have smell of vision on YouTube yet. It's coming soon, fellas. <laughs> like scratch and sniff, you scratch the screen. Exactly. Now, we're gonna take our pies, put them in the oven. We have our oven at a beautiful temperature. I want you to check this temperature out. 420. That is not the temperature we're gonna bake these at. I just love that temperature. I'm gonna drop these down <laughs> to 375 like normal people and cook them for 15 minutes. Great job. So here we have our beautiful, beautiful pie. Um, what are your first thoughts on it when you look at it? It looks festive. It's very um, like holiday looking, just the colors, cause like the red and the green. Um, it smells delicious mm. and I'm ready. We have here our healthy people spoons. These are made from plants and corn like that. You don't got them, fine. <laughs> Let's try this, you ready? Okay. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's that so good. good. That's fire. Mmm, that's really good. That's like actually better than I even thought it would taste. <laughs> <laughs> like it smells good, but it tastes even better than mm. it smells. Ooh, and the spices. I think it's that, what, you, what did you call that fancy little thing that you had? Bougie season. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. It's called Herb de Provence. You can find it at any market. Um, if you don't know how to pronounce it, just ask for the bougie seasoning. Bougie seasoning. <laughs> They're gonna be like, uh -huh, what? <laughs> so, if a guy invites you over, he says, boom, I got dinner made for you. He makes this for you, it's vegan. Would you go on a second date? Dude, if, if somebody made this for me, I would like marry them that day. <laughs> Oh my God, See, I feel like you're cooking for me forever. Mm. Look what a little bit of pie and soy riso can get you. You hear that? I like to thank my lovely guests. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me because now I get um, I get a free meal out of it. Mm. You see? Delicious <laughs> snacks. If you did not know, I am the session. This is at Jackie Hollywood. Yes. Instagrams will magically pop up across. 
Ooh. I'd like to thank you for joining me. It's been another great episode. Um, we got tons and tons of great fire coming for you. We're doubling up two videos a week. Yes, I said it, two videos per week. Stay tuned, stay healthy, stay medicated, and stay awesome.